All right, so I wrote some more code and I'm using the Volvo uh, fan. That's uh, part number, I was kind of crooked, but anyway, it's like a 2006 pulse width modulated fan. And I got a car battery, and so I've got an Arduino with a little white LED connected up to the pulse width modulated output, a little resistor in series to limit current. The yellow wire goes over, goes to the purple wire, which goes up to the fan. Obviously, the big black and big red go straight to the battery. So it's an Arduino uh, Nano. And then for the sensor, I'm using an HTU21D, uh, which reads out in temperature and humidity. Converted over to Fahrenheit for easier to see. And the little black thing on the end, that's the actual sensor. Um, so because I can change the humidity much faster than I can change the temperature on there with holding it in between my fingers, uh, I'm using the humidity calculation. So the numbers on the display are going to be, the top row is going to be Fahrenheit. The next one is going to be the percentage of relative humidity. And the bottom one is going to be a number. And that number goes from 0 to 255. Uh, and so I went in and I changed the frequency. Uh, by default, it's like 490 hertz output for the pulse width modulated. I changed that to 122.55 uh, hertz, uh, which is pretty close to what that needs. says it goes between about 100 hertz is what it's supposed to have, but 122 is close enough. So the bottom line on there will be the number that goes from 0 to 255. The higher the number, the longer the pulse width is. And the longer the pulse width is, the slower the fan will go. So it's inversely proportional to whatever number you're going to calculate. Um, so when I turn it on, right now it's a pretty humid day. It's about 90% humidity here in the garage. And when I turn it on, the fan's going to be turning very, very slow. So what I'll do is I'll squeeze the sensor. Heat it up, and what will happen is the humidity will go up to about 95%. And when I let go of it, the heat will basically make the humidity vaporize on the sensor. The pulse width will go narrow, and the fan will speed up. So I just have a little toggle switch here for power. So I'll turn this dude on. A little bit of a two-second delay. So there's my temperature. There's my humidity. And the pulse width is 0 to 255. So right now it's about 70 degrees. So let me squeeze this. Bring this over into the, into the view. So let me squeeze this. So 255 is off. So the humidity will go down. And it will start spinning. Eighty-six percent. So the two fifteen out of two fifty-five is a pretty narrow pulse width. Until it's going slow. So the next thing I'll do is I'll let go of this sensor and after heating it up. So the humidity will vaporize and go off of the sensor, lowering the humidity and the fan speed will speed up. That is, the humidity goes back up. As the humidity goes back up, you can hear the fan speed is slowing down. Again, the relative humidity goes up, the pulse width gets narrower, closer to 255, and the fan will slow down. So, pretty simple concept. So I'll show it again. There. The humidity will drop, so it will go up temporarily. It will drop a little bit. Heat the sensor up to about 85, 87 degrees. Humidity is still high. When I take my finger off, the humidity will drop. The pulse width will get narrower and the fan will speed up. You can do that. It's kind of hard to tell, but the Pulse width gets narrower, the, the LED gets more dim. So, you'll see when the humidity drops, how dim the light gets. Can't, can't really see it. Anyway, that's how it functions. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Wait for the humidity to go back up.